Welcome to the Esri World Geocoding Capability Webinar. My name is Vineet Sharma and I'm in Product Marketing here at Esri. And I'm joined by Nick Patel, Esri Product Manager for World Geocoding Capability and responsible for making sure that Esri Geocoding meets customer requirements. Today in this video, we shall take a look at geocoding concept, how it is helping the insurance industry, review the benefits of Esri's World Geocoding, how we deliver it through our ArcGIS platform, and finally take you through the various deployment patterns that can best fit your organizational needs. And with this, I will turn it over to you, Nick. Thank, thanks, Vineet. Welcome, everyone. Before diving into it, let's take a step back and first define what geocoding is. Geocoding is a process that converts your location data, such as postal addresses and place names, into latitude and longitude coordinates that can be plotted on the map. In today's business, your organization is collecting massive amounts of data, and most of this data has location information associated with it. Putting this data on the map, quite literally, helps you find patterns and make key business decisions. Many people associate geocoding with finding a single location on the map. For example, finding your house on the map or your friend's house and navigating to that location. Geocoding is more than this. Of course, some users would be interested in finding a single location on a map and orienting the map around that location. There are many names used in the market to describe this feature, such as interactive geocoding, forward geocoding, or geosearch. This feature is further enriched with a suggestions capability that suggests multiple candidates as you're typing to get you to the right location quickly. Moving on to batch geocoding, many enterprise organizations have massive amounts of data that has location info, such as postal addresses. With the batch geocoding feature, these organizations can quickly assign coordinates to each of these records in a fast, single process and get this data on the map quickly. Finally, reverse geocoding. Reverse geocoding help, helps users in the field associate their location back to a textual description. For example, clicking on an unfamiliar area to know the textual description of that location, whether it be an address, intersection, or a place name. Geocoding is a foundational step to understanding your data. Geocoding by itself is valuable as we've demonstrated, but we can further increase this value. Once you have the coordinates assigned to the data in your database, you could, for instance, put them on top of a detailed base map or imagery to get a visual context of where your customers are. You can go one step further and enrich this data with some demographic variables, such as household income, median age, or purchasing power of the area in which the customer is residing in. You could do spatial analysis on this data, like how far can each customer drive within a five minute, 10 minute, or 15 minute window to understand if they can reach a retail location in minimal time. Ultimately though, you want to reach some level of understanding of your data so you could make these key business decisions. So Esri's ArcGIS platform not only is delivering a feature-rich world-class capability, but is providing a platform for mapping, visualization, analysis, collaboration, and decision-making at all levels within the organization. Now let's talk about specifically the insurance industry and the benefits they get with our geocoding and, and uh, specifically talk about that. So virtually users in all industries have something to gain from the geocoding capability in ArcGIS. In insurance, Users make use of ArcGIS and geocoding to make policy decisions, mitigate risk, provide customers with fast service in times of disasters, and also support their healthy growth. ArcGIS is offering a single platform to geocode, visualize, and analyze information to make smarter business decisions. Let's switch gears and now focus on the world-leading geocoding experience that Esri has built and how we've achieved that over the years. First, the quality of the geocoding experience depends on the quality of the underlying street reference dataset. 
Esri is making use of the best available reference data, both globally and locally. Esri relies on its vast network of over 80 international distributors covering each of the key countries around the world to make the geocoding the best it could be for each of their countries. Esri is sourcing data directly from some of these distributors who are experts in their local markets and in collecting local street data. We also supplement this data with data from our user communities. These are national mapping agencies, government agencies that not only use ArcGIS to collect and maintain their data, but also provide this back to Esri to incorporate into its global geocoding and content products. Such examples of these agencies are the Dutch Cadaster in the Netherlands, BEV in Austria, GNAF, the national addressing file in Australia, and the list goes on. Finally, we're using a global commercial street reference data that we've licensed from here to deliver a global geocoding experience for the rest of the planet. Using this approach ensures that we're building and delivering a world-class geocoding experience that covers the planet. Our world geocoding capability provides street-level coverage for 135 countries. This covers over 90% of the worldwide population. These countries are shown as the darker shades of brown on this map and represents countries where our geocoding is the most accurate and mature. Beyond even these countries, we support places and points of interest level coverage for the rest of the planet. With this, we're able to deliver worldwide coverage through a single restful endpoint that users are able to consume the geocoding features that we mentioned. It goes beyond this. Because of our global presence, we're able to work with our partners around the world to understand how addressing works from country to country. Take for instance, 380 New York Street, Redlands, California, 92373. My friend Danica from the US is accustomed to typing addresses in this, in this way. However, this format is not typical in other countries. For example, my friend Nico at Esri, Germany is typing his address differently. He might be typing Ringstrasse, the street name uh, appended to the street type, followed by the building number, seven, and then followed by the postal code and city name, 85402 Kranzberg. You can quickly appreciate the complexities of the addressing systems around the world. And Esri has seriously taken time to understand how these systems and incorporated these into the matching logic of the world geocoding capability. Let's now discuss how we deliver these capabilities through the various geocoding products. For organizations that are requiring global geocoding coverage with a ready-to-use cloud-based service, we're offering the ArcGIS Online World Geocoding Service, shown on the top left. And now for organizations that still need global coverage, but they can't deploy in the cloud for privacy and security reasons, we offer a World Geocoder for ArcGIS product shown on the top right and has been available since late last year. For organizations that need local, country, or state-level geocoding, but have to conform to strict privacy requirements such as HIPAA, we deliver our StreetMap Premium product shown on the bottom left to meet these needs. And now, finally, for organizations that are collecting and managing their own asset and addressing data that they need to search against, our ArcGIS platform offers them the capability to build their own geocoding to support searching against their own data. How are we delivering our geocoding capability on our platform, and how is it consumed through the various client applications? So ArcGIS is a complete system for geocoding. It's an essential capability as we've demonstrated. It's well integrated into the ArcGIS applications that we're building and also available to our developer community to leverage into the applications that they're building through ready-to-use APIs and SDKs. It supports employment, important deployment patterns, including online, behind the firewall or on-premises, offline mode on a mobile device, as well as a hybrid in consuming the online service in conjunction with behind the firewall. Desktop is a client you could use to author as well as consume the geocoding. Customers can also supplement their geocoding with what we're providing and delivering. 
Organizations can build what are known as locators using the data that they maintain. They could share these locators out to their user communities as packages or services, and also consume these locators or locator services within the client applications to perform interactive batch and reverse geocoding. Geocoding is also available on devices. For instance, field workers that need to leverage Esri search capabilities. Our apps and mobile SDKs support geosearch or interactive geocoding and reverse geocoding. Mobile geocoding works as, as an online service or through offline services uh, through the packages that, that are built with the desktop application. Web clients such as the ArcGIS Viewer for Portal and apps supporting interactive and batch geocoding. These clients could work with the World Geocoding Service, which is built into to these applications, or they could work with the published geocoding services that the users themselves maintain on their own premises. Now switching gears, let's talk about some of the new enhancements that, that we've made to the World Geocoding products. Our latest release of the online World Geocoding service now supports matching addresses in 25 additional countries, shown in the labels. We've also added some compelling authoritative sources for Australia and New Zealand, and we've also worked with our partner in China to add address geocoding for China in English. We've also enhanced the geocoding algorithm, and it's now better at resolving poor quality and poorly formatted addresses. The result is more accurate matches for your locations. We've extended also the batch geocoding to support not only geocoding postal addresses, but in combination also supporting points of interest that may exist in your data. You could get more details as to the enhancements beyond this. So we've published a blog that you could access through this link and it's also shown in the developer documentation. The links are provided herein. In summary, these are some of the great benefits of leveraging the Esri's World Geocoding products and capabilities. We're able to deliver good global coverage. It's highly accurate for your use cases, especially in insurance. We support local languages and address formats around the world. You're able to keep the lat, lat long uh, points um, and persist those as, as long as you maintain a license. You're able to benefit from the best available reference data we're using and producing our geocoding capability, and also supporting not just postal address matches, but we're able to find businesses, landmarks, and more. And this is available across the ArcGIS platform with an implementation that's suited for your organization. Thanks, Nick for such a detailed explanation. We hope you found what you learned and saw today useful. If you would like to get in touch with us to schedule a private demo or get some of your questions answered, you can contact us by filling up the Contact Us form and an SRE expert will get in touch with you immediately. If you don't have access to ArcGIS online subscription, we would like you to try this for yourself. You can sign up for a free 21-day trial at www.esri.com forward slash RGIS slash trial. We thank you for your time and you have a great day.